Hi, this is Chris Plamo with Jai Crispy Consulting, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make different types of branches in Mercurial using Tortoise HG. So to start off, I've just created an empty folder called Mercurial Demo, and in here I'm going to create a new folder, and we'll use this for our demo project. So I'll just call this project, and we're going to create a repository here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and commit my new project. Okay. Now that we have an empty project, I'm going to go in and just create a file to use for our demo. And for this video, the project I'll be doing is just to, I'll be making a bunch of recipes. So I'll say a peanut butter cup. Okay. So I put ingredients, peanut butter and chocolate, and the directions, take the peanut butter, dip it in the chocolate. A very sophisticated peanut butter cup recipe. So I will save that. And let's just commit. Okay, so at this point, if we take a look at our repository explorer, we'll see you have just a normal straight line path like you'd expect. So now what we wanna do is create a branch. There's a lot of different ways that people create branches uh, using bookmarks and things like that. I'm gonna show you what I think are the three most common ways. One is an anonymous branch that you've actually seen before if you've watched any of the other videos. Uh, then a named branch and a branch from cloning. So. The first one I'm going to do, the one I use most often, is the branch from cloning. So say I wanted to work on some new recipe for this. I just create a new folder, and I can call it Project Experiment. Right click, and I want to clone it, and the source that I'm going to clone it from is Project Clone. So now I have a copy of this project, and I can go in and make changes here. So I can modify this recipe, say I want to make the peanut butter sweeter. So I'm going to add some powdered sugar, mix the peanut butter with the powdered sugar, and then dip it in the chalk. So while I'm working on this, I can check in my changes. So I'm going to make a note that I sweetened the peanut butter, then I'm going to commit my change. And now, if I look at this repository explorer, I have a different graph than if I were to look at the Repository Explorer on the main project. So these are basically completely separate. One's a clone from the next one, so I can merge it in just like we've seen in past videos. All the normal stuff. And if I don't like it, or when I'm done and I've merged it in, I don't need this uh, other directory anymore, I can just delete it. I like doing that method uh, because it creates a separate folder, so it's really easy for me to know where I'm working at all times. And one thing to notice with these different types of branching, uh, you don't need to pick just one. Sometimes you might want to do a clone for some sort of short-lived experiment, and then if you're going to do something that's, that's really long-term, maybe you want to use a named branch. And I'm going to show you what a named branch is right now. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to make that same change with the powdered sugar. Okay, so I saved the change. And this time, I'm going to go back to my project, right click. And I'm going to do HG commit just like you normally would. But notice up in the corner, it says branch default. Well, if I don't want to use the default branch, I can change it. So I just click on that. And I'm going to say open a new named branch. And I'm going to call this Sweeter PB Cup. Okay. And I'm going to commit that. It's going to prompt me that I'm creating a new name branch. Do I really want to do that? Yes, I do. Close that. So now, if we look at the Repository Explorer, it looks like it's in a straight line. But if you see the two green markers, you can see that one is for your sweeter peanut butter cup. That's the new branch that we created. And one is the original default branch. So now whenever you're working, it's easy enough to just right click, go to Tortoise HG, and you can say update to switch to whichever name branch you want. So I'm in the sweeter peanut butter cup right now. I'm gonna switch back to 
the default branch before I made the sweetening change. And you can see if I open that file that the powdered sugar is gone. You can also see it from the repository explorer. So I can right click here and say update. And now I've gotten back my powdered sugar recipe. So that's another way of doing it. And for the final way, the anonymous branches like we've seen before, I'm just going to open up Repository Explorer. I'm going to revert back to this earliest version. So I'm going to update to when we just had an empty repository. So now if I go into the project, I don't have any other files. So I'll create a text document. This time I'll make a chocolate strawberry. All right, so ingredients, chocolate and a strawberry. Dip the strawberry in the chocolate. Another very sophisticated recipe. Okay, let me hop back and I'll commit this. Okay, so I make a note, commit that. And now you can see that it actually created a new branch for me. So that's an anonymous branch. And I could switch back and forth to it just like I have any of the other ones by, you know, right clicking here and saying update or uh, from the Tortoise HG menu. So those are the three most common ways. Typically, I think you do anonymous branches a lot of times when you're bringing in other people's chain sets, but you can do them at any time. You know, since they are anonymous, they don't have a label, which makes them sometimes a little bit more difficult to work with. I wouldn't use an anonymous branch for a a large feature change or something that I thought might might take a little while or that I was going to have to switch back and forth to and from a lot. Uh, name branches, I think, are very handy when you have something that is a really long running task. And then clones are great for anything short. Uh, very easy to keep track of where you're at with the clones. So those are three different ways of doing branching using uh, Tortoise HG. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this helpful.